Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Gas prices will go down tomorrow, tempering the eight weeks of upward movement in the ex-refinery cost of fuel. A litre of 87 gasoline will cost $2.34 less. $2.29 will be removed from the price of 90 gasoline. Automotive diesel will sell for $2.20 less, while $2.09 will be subtracted from the cost of ultra-low sulfur diesel. Now the price of kerosene will lose $3.06, the cost of propane will be unchanged, however $0.25 cents will be added to the price of butane. Meanwhile, oil on the global market for delivery in August and September inched up by 5% today. The cost of a barrel of Brent crude rose by $2.88, settling at $72.23. The credit union fund management company CUFMC has been rebranded. The investment arm of the credit union movement will now be called QMAX Wealth Management Limited. QMAX's chairman, Lambert Johnson, says the new name was part of a strategic direction. He says the new strategy will also see the company offer wealth management services to non-credit union members. We are being proactive with the name change as the Pending Credit Union Act on the horizon. Only credit, union will, credit unions will actually be able to use that moniker in their name. So if you are not a credit union, that can't be a part of your name. Previously, the credit union movement affiliates were our primary beneficiaries of this outstanding performance. But we are going to be offering our services, not just to credit unions in the future, but to, to the investment public. QMAX currently has more than $20 billion in funds under management. In currency trading, the greenback is going for an average $154.85. The Canadian dollar is selling for $125.94. It's costing $212.90 for the pound and $185.09 for the euro. Now the JC index advanced by 2,127 points, while the junior market index declined by 22 points. Among the winners were Consolidated Bakeries, Epley 7.5% shares due 2024, Portland JSX, JMMB 7.35% cumulative redeemable preference shares, and Trans-Jamaican U.S. dollar shares, while on the losing side were SSL Venture Capital, Cayley Group, Mayberry Investment, JMMB 6% U.S. dollar shares, and the Caribbean Cream. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Have a good evening.